wonderful sewing friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today's video we're talking about sewing with kids. Do you let yours in your sewing room or are you, is it a no-go zone? We're going to talk about how to get them involved, some tips on working with them, and where I went wrong when I was sewing with my kids. Let's go. Alright, so let's start off with getting them involved. Getting your kids involved. Is your sewing room a no-go zone? I really struggle with this. I don't want my kids by my expensive machines or into my beautiful fabric or my coveted notions. I mean, fabric scissors. Like, there's so many things that could go wrong, right? I'm tempted to just tell them, do not come in mommy's sewing room. But that's not the best way to foster a love of creativity or, you know, a passion for sewing if that's something that maybe your child will develop down the road. If we do that, number one, it's probably just going to make them want to come in here more and get into more of your stuff and make a mess because I think that's what happened with my kids. And that might hinder them down the road when, you know, maybe they're learning about sewing later on and they just like, they just have this mental block about it and it could be because you didn't let them in your sewing room. I don't know, am I reading too much into this? Probably. What I'm trying to get at is let them come in, let them explore. I get how hard this is. I do not enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. I am getting better, but we kind of just need to take a step back. If we let them do their thing with supervision, then I think we'll learn that it's not so bad and that's definitely what happened for me. My little guy, he's, he's, he gets into things <laughs> and he likes to get into things. So for me to let him in here and let him open my drawers and touch my stuff is really hard for me. But when I'm watching him, he's able to explore at his own pace and he he knows that it's not like off limits so he he can look at things he can touch things he knows to respect my things and i think that's what i need to get better at teaching him now before this turns into a parenting video why is that important well it just gets it out of their system you know it lets them be curious about it it lets them want to learn more about it and that's the whole point so let them be in your sewing room and I think they can be in your sewing room from birth, honestly. Obviously, they're not going to be really taking things in, in terms of like, oh, this is sewing, you know, when they're an infant in their bouncy chair. But I have had my kids in my sewing room when they were in a bouncy chair, when they were in an extra saucer, when they were crawling around. I had them around with me. I, it was never off limits. Put them on their, your lap if you think that they can sit there for a minute, two minutes without getting their fingers under the needle. Yes, you have to be careful. Yes, you have to go slower. Yes, there's more on your mind, so don't do it maybe when you're on a really difficult step. But have them on your lap and let them enjoy things. Once they get older, they can start taking the pins out or the clips out or putting the clips on to fabric. You know, they like to do that kind of thing. So just get them involved by encouraging it, but not pushing it. When they're really young, you can give them some fabrics to play with. There's zippers or ribbons, trims, bias tape. There's all kinds of things they can play with just as like a textile or, you know, sensory play. As they get older, give them some buttons to sort. That kind of thing. My kids loved sorting buttons and they still do. My kids are three and four and I just reorganized my button stash a few months ago. I was shocked. I brought out my buttons. I took it out to the living room so that we could you know, be more together, and and they were like right in there, like hawks. They were like, we're gonna be here doing this too. And it was it was a wonderful bonding experience that they got to play with buttons and sort them and look at the pretty ones and, you know, just kind of touch them and see what was going on there. And I think that helps so that now they don't really care to go in there because they know what it is and, you know, it's not really that exciting. As your children get older, you can have them have some input in their clothes that you sew for them, if you sew for them. So maybe they can pick out a pattern. You know, you say, okay, mommy wants to make you a shirt. What kind of shirt would you like? So they can help pick out the style of the shirt. They can help pick out the fabrics. Just don't give them too many choices or it could get overwhelming or they could want something or all the fabrics in one shirt and uh, we all know how that would go. Another way to get them involved is give them some scrap fabric to cut up. That's one of my daughter's favorite things for over a year now. She has just been loving to just grab some fabric, 
grab some scissors and cut and she loves that and so I can sit her in my sewing room with me when I'm sewing and she can do that and I think that really is um, it, it's definitely good for her development but it also gets her into thinking about where her clothes come from which is another thing I want to encourage is to talk about it you know when you give your daughter something or your son something don't just put it in their closet or whatever and you know they put it on and they don't know anything about it tell them mommy made this you know we bought the fabric I bought a pattern I cut out the paper and I put it on the fabric and tell them about it so that they kind of know where this comes from as they get older you can introduce things like fast fashion and and talk about you know the differences in all of that if you're looking for kind of an intro to that I do have a global slow fashion awareness series that I will link below love my global slow fashion awareness series to death so yeah definitely check that out if you're interested another thing you can do to get them involved is you know make it a thing make it a big thing a big deal have a sewing day with one of your children just you and that child <laughs> we're gonna talk about it in a minute in where I went wrong but it's a good it's a good bonding time it doesn't have to be a full day maybe it's an evening maybe it's while another child is out at an event you and the other child are going to spend some time together sewing doing what that child wants to make Barbie clothes doll clothes a tent you know whatever it may be make it special for that child they're gonna want to do it because they're with you but also because of the sewing lastly for getting them involved is just be around them you know don't save your sewing for nighttime I realize this isn't possible in every family but if you can sew while your children are up and about and playing do it if you have some hand stitching to do do it on the couch while your kids are watching TV or you know be together and and be sewing so that they can see you doing it they know like oh this is mommy's hobby or this is mommy's job in my case they can really see you putting all that effort into something that you wear if they want to watch you invite them invite them to come and sit with you and chat through it or chat about their day if they're a little bit older and that kind of thing or you know just just have them around make it part of your life don't make it just like this special thing that mommy does down in the basement you know what I mean and and I think that's gonna help to kind of get them more interested so now if they actually are interested in doing actual sewing I do have some tips for that as well because it can be super overwhelming for you for mama or daddy and it's it's something that you're like they're gonna touch my machines they're gonna you know use my fabric scissors they're gonna be stabbing themselves with pins and needles calm down we're gonna take it step by step you're gonna be there and we're gonna get through this so some tips that I think are helpful for once your child is actually interested in doing actual sewing which again this line is very blurred because sitting on your lap and watching I believe is part of their learning to sew but I'm talking about when they actually want to say in what's going on so number one I say is be prepared so your your kid comes to you mama mommy mommy I want to sew right now okay that's great bring them onto your lap you know talk about things but but if your child catches you off guard like that and wants to all of a sudden make a t-shirt and you don't want to say no right you can't just say no straight off the bat so plan for it like have your child realize that well it's not just done like that we have to pick a pattern okay let's pick a pattern let's do that part and then we can get the pattern ready and then we can pick our fabrics or maybe pick the fabrics first you know have them realize that it's kind of a process and it can't just be done just like that or if they you know they come to you and you know you're rushing out the door or they mention it in the car or something like that you have time to then prepare for it the next time so maybe you gather two or three patterns and you say okay which one should we do and then you gather two or three fabrics which one should we use I also want to say don't say no and that that can be hard that's hard for me so what I mean by that is so say they pick a t-shirt pattern and then they're going through your fabric stash and they find a beautiful woven fabric you know and they're like oh I want this with my t-shirt instead of saying no that won't work say something like okay that fabric's really awesome and I really love it too it would look great as a t-shirt unfortunately this pattern that we chose is using a stretchy fabric so here's some options you know we can pick a different fabric we can pick a different pattern to go with this fabric or we can just riff on it and we can you know size up or or try it and see what happens because sometimes that's okay right so 
just try not to just say outright no, flat no, because that's going to lower their self-esteem and it's going to just kind of put a guard up and they're not going to want to, you know, say what they like or say their opinion or, or, um, or be really out there in the sewing room. So we want to encourage that. We want to encourage creativity and them vocalizing what they want and all that kind of thing, of course, as we we're supposed to do as parents. Just try not to just say flat out no. And then kind of along with that is, it's kind of teach them, you know, instead of, again, instead of saying no, just say, okay, this is for stretchy fabric. So let's look at stretchy fabrics. Which fabrics here do you think are stretchy and which ones would work for this kind of thing? Again, if you can narrow it down and have the options laid out for them ahead of time, that helps just to kind of, you know, focus them in and to not be so overwhelming when they're looking at your huge wall of fabric or whatever it may be. And then the biggest tip I can give you is uh, slow down, be patient, and don't expect too much. And this is where I went wrong. So I had planned a full day for my daughter and I, and, and we were hyped up about it. We were both excited, you know, we were gonna have this sewing day. It was just gonna be me and her, and we were gonna sew these things. So we did prep ahead of time. I, you know, we went together, and we looked on the computer what patterns we wanted to use. I, I picked, several. I didn't expect to get through them all, but we did, I did print them out and they were ready to go. And then the day came and we were going through the patterns. Okay, what do you want to start with? She started with a pair of pants. We picked the fabric. We got through that. It was pretty good. You know, she cut out the pattern herself, which took a while, but that was totally great. I was so blown away by how well she did cutting. And I think that's another thing is we don't give our kids enough credit or you know, we don't think they can do things as well as they can oftentimes, especially when they're younger. So then we sewed it up and then we moved on to another pattern and that was it. She actually left. She didn't even help finish that one, which was like a super easy mermaid tail. So I think that was just like, it was more about spending time with me. And once she had her fill, she was done. And I, we had put all this, you know, all this emphasis on this day and we were both looking forward to it. And then, so I was kind of disappointed that she, you know, that she left me there. So I think that's where I went wrong, is we put too much hype on it. We, I expected, you know, to be sewing all day when in reality, she's four years old, we're not gonna be sewing all day. And I, I think I maybe gave her too many options too. We had picked out fabrics way ahead of time and I just kind of let her go free reign on my fabric stash, stash and pull things out that she wanted. And so she had a big stash, she actually had a box and she put her fabrics in and there was a lot of them. And then we picked several patterns and you know, there's so many options for each pattern. And so I think that was just too much. And I think that's where I went wrong. And she hasn't asked to sew since then. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be long-term damage, but huh, <laughs> I just, I just wanna share that, I guess that, um, let them join as much as they want to. Don't push it. I wasn't pushing it either, but when they're ready to leave, they're ready to leave and they'll come back. You know, of course we want to get our children into our hobby and see them creating their own clothes and being really creative and expressing their personality through fashion, but it's not for everyone either. So all we can do is, is make it available to them, teach them about fast fashion and slow fashion and and give them the tools and if they choose to pursue it then we'll be right there with them to to help them experience the beauty in sewing so i hope that helps you if you're looking at you know how to get my kids involved you know what's age appropriate honestly they can start as young as an infant being in your sewing room in terms of like actually sewing on a sewing machine Again, my daughter is four years old. Since they've been three years old, they've been, or two even, my son was two, I think, when he started like pulling pins off and that kind of thing. So, you know, it's something that they can do. I would say as early as four years old. I don't like giving an age because every child is different, but as early as you feel that they're comfortable and mature enough not to stick their finger under a needle <laughs> is kind of how that works. You know, you might not want to let them on your fancy expensive machines, but if you have a backup machine or something like that, um, let them do it. Don't recommend the children's machines, but that might be a personal opinion. So yes, I hope this video was helpful for you and, and that it encouraged you to let your children come in the sewing room within reason. If it is your, if it is your self care time after they go to bed, covet that, like 
yeah, I, for by all means do that. But if they're also interested, then maybe block out some other time where you can do it with them. And I think that's really special. So thank you so much for watching. If this content did resonate with you, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.